You didn't even try. How's that feel? Swung on a fly ball to right field. Might be a grand slam. Fairchild going back at the wall. It's gone. A grand slam for Jalen Davis. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric. And today, it looks like the MLBPA and the Major League Baseball owners are no closer to an agreement. And it looks like that there's a very strong possibility spring training will get delayed. It has gotten to the point that Major League Baseball is not even sending a counteroffer to the PA. They're just saying, hey, we need to get another party in here. We need to get a mediator in here. And they're actually requesting a federal mediator per Jeff Pass. And here's the tweet. That says, Major League Baseball requested a federal mediator to help resolve the lockout now in its third month. In the story, how arbitrators have worked in other sports, haven't worked in MLB, and where the sides currently stand. Let's check out this article. MLB on Thursday requested the immediate assistance of a federal mediator to help resolve the sports lockout. Sources told ESPN potentially is inserting the presence of a neutral party to end a work stoppage now in its third month. It's pretty embarrassing that they need to get to they go to a neutral party. But obviously necessary. If they can't ever figure it out, what are they going to do? Just not play? Then they're going to make no money. We know that's not going to happen. In my opinion, they are going to get it figured out when they start losing money. They're going to need our money. They need our money really bad. Where they get the money? They get the money from us. So if there's no games, certainly nobody's going to be going to, uh, spending money on tickets. And if you're not spending money on tickets and going to game, getting building up hype, you're not going to buy merchandise. You're not going to buy anything. Like, they're done. And, of course, the players won't get paid at all. They're going to figure this out because there's too much money to be made not to. But it is freaking embarrassing and it is annoying in the meantime. The league reached out to the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service, a government agency that attempts to resolve labor disputes, sources said. Mediation is not mandatory and the MLB Players Association would need to agree to the involvement of the third party, which even if they don't do right away, they would eventually, I think, agree because they need to get it figured out. And um, they need that ching-ching. MLB locked out players on December 2nd after the sides could not reach an agreement on a new collective bargaining agreement. And it's just insane. They had so much time. Not only, you know, the time that they had after the end of the season until December 2nd, but all the years before that, both sides knew they were unhappy, or at least the Players Association knew they weren't happy. The owners knew the Players Association was unhappy, and they knew they were going to want some changes. They should have got ahead of this and started talking early and figured it out early. So since December 2nd, the sides have met four times, four measly times, in three months. And they didn't meet for like a month. They didn't even try. They didn't even try. None of the sessions have provided significant traction towards a new collective bargaining agreement after more than a quarter century of labor peace. An MLB spokesperson would only confirm that the request for mediation was made. The union declined to comment. Mediation, a process by which outside party intervenes during labor strife, has been commonplace throughout the history of sports labor relations. The role of mediators is more to bridge communication issues between the sides and help find middle ground rather than offer mandates or implement solutions. Really, you guys need someone to help you bridge communication issues and find middle ground? You can't do that on your own. Pretty embarrassing. Mediators were used during the MLBPA strikes in 81 and 94, the latter of which did not wind up with a resolution. Uh, yeah, recent mediation efforts in other sports have provided some successful outcomes, so it helped resolve the 2013 National Hockey League out uh, lockout. Mediator Scott Beckenbaugh, who remains the master mediator at FMC. S was praised by union members and league officials for helping create a path to a deal. Really? I mean, I don't see what's the, <laughs> I don't see what's so difficult. You see the issues where you, what the players want, you see what the owners want and you try to come up with a compromise. I mean, it, 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 they should be able to do that on their own, but whatever. Beckham also mediated the major league soccer strike in 2015 and a handful of other recent disputes between leagues and referees unions. Okay. I mean, obviously it's a little more difficult, a little more complex than I'm making it out to be, but I'm just saying it's really embarrassing. More than two decades earlier, mediation efforts in MLB had the opposite effect. Mediator Bill Ussery angered players with his approach and was unable to save the 94 World Series or reach an agreement for the beginning of the 95 season. Uh, yeah, I recall Tom Glavin, a union leader at the time, Glavin said, we were, we were willing to compromise and we have shown that, but Mr. Ussery's proposal was outrageous in many instances. We'd be giving away things we've gone on strike for previously. Uh, he couldn't answer any questions about what his proposal meant. 
And as we all know, the inability of the parties to make progress has led to a near certain postponement of spring training scheduled to begin, begin mid-month. And we're already here. It's, it's February 3rd. Some in the industry on both the league and the player sides fear that the March 31st op opening day could be at risk if no resolution is reached by the end of February. Oh, you think? Maybe, huh? You think so? Yeah, we could definitely miss some games. I wouldn't be surprised. They're not going to miss a whole ton of games. It'll, I, I mean, I think it'll be close to a 162 They'll get it started. They'll, they'll stretch it out, but just embarrassing more than anything else. You know, everything that's been going on with the COVID, you know, stopping baseball, 60 game season, all that embarrassment that they went through to get that going. And the fact that this time there ain't going to be no Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds after that to bring them back if they piss fans off enough. You know, this is a lot better than a strike that just, you know, cuts off the season and then you lose the World Series and all that. But still. Um, baseball ain't as strong as it once was. Right now, they're still doing pretty well, you know, so, you know, big stadiums and, you know, big money and everything, but a lot of the fans are 40-plus, you know. I'm one of the younger fans, and I'm 42. They're not getting, I don't know a whole lot of young 18, 19, 20-year-old uh, baseball fans. And certainly younger, like kids, how they used to be, love, love baseball in the 80s and 90s even. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little worried about the future of this game. You know, I think these 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 <laughs> they should just be happy that they're making bank while they are and, and get this thing figured out. And let's freaking go because I'm a little concerned about the future of baseball if the, if this strike or if this uh, lockout, excuse me, um, should you know go into March, April, and end up you know canceling games. Uh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Uh, it's gonna hurt bad. There have been areas of progress. The league agreed to mo remove direct draft pick compensation and offered a universal DH. Union said it would expand postseason to 12 teams. They don't want 14, which I don't either. And uh, that's an interesting discussion. Also, what's going on with the postseason? That's going to be completely changed. Um, and proposed allowing an av advertising patches on uniforms. Uh, great. That's just fantastic. That's just something I'm loving to see right now. We, need, we definitely need some more advertising patches on the uniforms. I would prefer them just to look straight like NASCAR drivers if it was up to me. Being very sarcastic, just in case you couldn't tell. Both sides are open to a draft lottery with MLB proposing non-playoff teams be eligible for the top three picks while the union countered with the top eight picks being part of the system. MLB agreed to consider a bonus pool for non-arbitration eligible players. That would be for $10 million. The union in its last proposal Tuesday countered at $100 million down $5 million from its previous offer. The sides left the session acknowledging little progress had been made, though the union, sources said, was anticipating a counteroffer from the league. But instead, MLB um, instead MLB ahead of the owners' meters taking place in Orlando, Florida next week, attempted to involve a mediator who, if the union accepts the league efforts, could accomplish what neither side has been able to. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Um, rest in peace, by the way, David Green. Former outfielder for the uh, Cardinals. Shut up. I don't have time to hear no ads. Uh, so rest in peace to you guys. Shut the hell up, man. Jeez. Freaking ads. We ain't got time for that crap. David Green. Uh, rest in peace to David Green. who was part of the 1982 um, St. Louis Cardinals and uh, passed away from a respiratory failure. But um, anyway, uh, so thoughts with him and his family. So unfortunately, though, um, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. We may miss games. We may miss regular season games. We're definitely going to miss spring training games. And I, I'm just so irritated with, you know, how this is. Ever since I started this channel, we've had problems. Uh, first, you know, it wasn't totally anybody's fault with the uh, with COVID-19. But still, you saw that they couldn't come up with any kind of agreement. And uh, Rob Manfred had to institute a 60-game season because they couldn't even come up with an agreement to come and play under some COVID guidelines. They couldn't figure it out among themselves. And now, unsurprisingly, they can't figure it out among themselves and may have to involve a mediator. And it's just insane. I don't know if a mediator is going to help that much. Uh, this is really concerning. But guess what? When it comes down to it, they won't lose money. Uh, they will lose money, but they are going to still figure it out once they start losing money and thinking, okay, let's get this figured out so we can make our millions and our billions that we're used to making. But at some point, fans are going to stop supporting you all. And the older fans are going to stop supporting y'all because we're going to die. And I don't know about the younger fans, but uh, I don't see a lot of young baseball fans. So I'm really concerned about the future of this league. Y'all better get it together and do it quick. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you next time. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down
It's bye bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.